Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking through this topic squares and square roots. And for this lesson, we look at the subtopic squares of numbers from tables. We're going to see how you are able to find the squares of numbers from tables. Previously, we did uh, uh, squares of numbers by multiplication method. We did prime factorization method, among many other methods that approaches that we 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 we, we applied in finding the squares of numbers. So for this lesson, we're going to see how you're able to find the square of a number from a certain table called tables of squares. We're going to see what that is all about as we continue with the lesson. So for this lesson, we will uh, look at those numbers that are greater than 10. We have done in the previous video numbers that are between 1 and 10. That is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You know, so we have 1.2, 1.3, we have 2 point, those numbers, so long as it's a number that is between 1 and 10, that is what we looked at in the previous video. So for this lesson, we'll now see how do you then find the squares of numbers that are greater than 10 from the tables, using tables of squares. Um, so that we'll see a few sample questions on the same to see how that can be done. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we're going to give you some assignment to help you practice, just like we did in the previous case. So we have uh, our table here, tables of squares. Uh, on this edition of four-figure mathematical table, I'm using this on page 19 and page 20. You can check. This is sixth edition. So if you want to, 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 to get to the table of squares, you simply go to get to the content, table of content, and then you'll be able to see the page. You open, you check, you'll be able to see the squares of numbers. Uh, are collected you know tabulated there so the question is how then do you do you, do you read the squares of of, of uh, numbers from the table so previously we did uh, how we find the squares of numbers between 1 and 10 we want to see how we are able to find these numbers that are 10 and above you know more than 10 that is so for example 15 how do you read the square of the number 15 from from the table so just to repeat what we said last time, we said this tables of squares, it has three major columns. We have the first column headed X, then the, the second column is called main column, ranging from zero to nine, this column here. And we have the last column called differences column, again, ranging from one to nine. So this is uh, uh, what we did. So the first two digits were checking from the column headed X. And then once you, you, like the number 15, once you get 15, like this one here, you moved across until you get to the next digit, you know. So we're going to see how that can be done for this. So what you do, this number here that is more than 15, you basically need to write it in standard form first. So this is, uh, so this is 15 squared. So let me do it here. So 15 squared is 1.5 times 10 power 1. Uh, 1.5 times 10 power 1. But then it is squared. So the rule of squares is that numbers, if num numbers are multiplied like this one, then basically all the numbers here are, 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 are raised to power 2. So what we have is 15, 1.5 squared. And then we also have 10 squared. No, what I've done here, I've just multiplied this by 2. Remember, this one here is also raised to power 1, so I've just multiplied it by 2, and I've also multiplied this by 2. So you see, 1.5 squared, this is now what you're going to read from the table. 10 squared here, you'll just be able to interpret it as a, as a 100. So that simply means that the number you have here will be multiplied by 10 two times. We have done this again in our previous videos when you're writing numbers in standard form. So let's find the square of 1.5 from the table. So 1.5, uh, you can decide to write it as 1.500 because we said the numbers whose squares we are finding from the table should be in four figures. This table is called four figure, four figure. So we'll be dealing with numbers that are having four digits. So if it's not, you can add two zeros so that you fill up. So this is squared times 10 power. So the first two digits I'll check from the column headed X. I'll move downwards until I get to 1.5. So you see 1.5 is here. 
that's where 1.5 is. Then you move across until you get to the next digit, the column headed by the next digit. So the next digit is zero. So we check the column headed zero. That is this one here. Where the two are intersecting. You now we are moving across and then column headed zero. The point of intersection is giving us the square of 15 of 1.50. So that is going to be 2.25. So 2.250. And then the next digit is zero. So this next digit is supposed to be checked from the differences column here. But now the differences column, we don't have the column headed zero. So that means we just stop it at that. So then you multiply by 10 power 2. 10 power 2, this one here. You can decide to leave the answer in this form because this is still standard form of a number, or you can decide to simplify it further. You know, moving the decimal point to the right, two steps. So the decimal point will move from where it is, it will go to the to the right number of steps. Two. Simply uh, when, when the power of 10 here is positive, it simply means that we know so we're supposed to multiply this number by 10. So uh, two times by 10 and again by 10 that will move the decimal point from where it is to the right how many steps two steps so we'll have one two so 225 so that means that the answer here is 225.0 so you can ignore that zero now you have this other one here so b here you have to write it in standard form again as you round off so we have uh, in, in writing in standard form, the decimal point, this is where the decimal point is for whole numbers after the last digit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1.4, 1. 1. 5, 5, 5. So we are rounding off to four figures. So remember, you count four figures, then you draw a cutoff line. You look at the digit after the cutoff line, it is five or more, increase this digit by one. Then, of course, all these digits will reduce to zeros. The last zeros are the decimal point. They don't count that much. So we have 1.455 times 10 raised to the power 7. But this is squared. So we're going to have 1.455 uh, squared times 10 power 14. So there is power 1 here. So you multiply both of them by 2. So this 1 by 2 and this 7 here by 2 so that we have... Uh, 1.455, which is the square. This is what we're going to read from the table. And this one, we are able to interpret it as it is. So the first two digits again from the column headed X. So check where 1.4 is. So you can see 1.4 is here. Then you move across until you get to the column headed next digit, which is 5. So you move up to the digit headed 5. So move across up to 5. So the point of intersection of this, this is going to give us the square of 1.45. So this is 1.45, uh, sorry, it's going to be 2.103, 2.103. So the next digit, which is 5, so you continue with that row until you get to the next column headed 5. And there it is. So column headed 5 is here. So this is the column. So we are adding 14. So 14 is what we are going to add here. So that is going to give us 7, 6, 0, 4. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be 1 here. So 1. So 0, 1. And then 2 point, so 2.1067. And of course, this is multiplied by 10 power, power 14. So this becomes the answer. You can leave it in that form because now if you try to simplify this, it will be having very many zeros. It will be such a big number. So you can leave it. That's still the standard form. So it, it simply means that uh, the square of this number here, you know, this number, what number is it? 14,545, uh, 14,545,433. If you square that, you're going to get this number here. So our answer is going to be 2.1067 times 10 power 14. You can leave it like that. The correct answer. 
So again, we have C here. You'll also have to write it in standard form. So we have 1.477 times 10 raised to power. So remember, this was 6. I've rounded it up to 7 times 10 raised to power 1, 2, 3, 4. So you move the decimal point how many steps? 1, 2, 3, 4. So times 10 raised to power 4. So this is squared because we are finding the square of that number. So it means this one is raised to power 1. So you multiply both powers by 2. That is basically squaring the two numbers. So 1.477 times 10. Of course, that is squared times 10 raised to power 8. So you read the square of this number from the table again. So first two digits again, we check from the column headed F. So you move until you get 1.4. 1.4 is here. Then you move across that row until you get to the next column headed next digit, which is 7. So you move up to digit number 7 again. So we have this one here. So 2.1. So we have 2.161. Then you move up to the differences column, column headed next digit, which is 7. So move again up to digit number 7. So we have 20. So 20 is what you add here. So 181. 2 point. So it means the square of that number is going to be 2.181 times 10 power 8. So you can leave the answer in that form, or you can decide to write it as an ordinary, an ordinary number. Yes. So that is basically how you go about it. Uh, we have uh, uh, a few questions here to help you practice. These ones here, you can use the tables of square that is displayed on the screen to help you work out these ones using the same technique that we have um, we have applied. You know, and uh, so you will only attempt this one here and this one here. We are going to look at numbers that are less than the numbers are, that are between zero and uh, one later on. So we also have a few uh, fewer questions here in the form of assignment to help you practice on the same. So together with the one that I've given previously, you can attempt. So uh, that marks the end until next lesson. Next lesson, we're going to look at now the squares of numbers between 1 and 0. Those numbers that are between 1 and 0. How do you find their squares? You know. Yes. Otherwise, that is the end for now. Till next time, goodbye. Thank you.